going on guys, Mitch Gators here, coming back with another Forza Horizon 4 video. Today's video will be showing, showing the new way to be able to unlock the Toyota Toronto right now in 2021 in Forza Horizon 4. Now of course I may not be pronouncing that car name right, but basically, let's just get to the business. A bunch of people are looking to be able to unlock this car because of how iconic it is, especially in the Toyota brand line, and a bunch of people have been asking me to make this video. It's been very highly requested, and if you guys want to go ahead and stay up to date with the best Forza glitches, tutorials, giveaways, and other videos like this, be sure to go and slam that subscribe button and like the video while you're at it. A bunch of the people watching these videos often are not subscribed, and it only takes around three seconds and helps me out a whole lot, guys. So make sure to go in and do so if you haven't already. But pretty much the Toyota Trono is one of the most iconic cars currently in the game right now and specifically is also one of the quickest drag cars. In fact, I made a video of the 2021 top 5 drag cars in terms of their speed on the quarter mile and this is top 5 quickest drag cars in the game. It's also an extremely effective drift car so it's all around the clock, it's an extremely effective car. Not only is it iconic, it's very good at drifting, it's very quick at drag racing and it's pretty easy to unlock by simply following these steps. Now of course, right before I got in the video guys if we can smash 200 likes I'm gonna go in and give away three of these in my discord server so smash the like button get your friends to come watch this video and get them to like it up and let's run up those likes so I can give a few of these back to you guys on the community to enter just make sure you're subbed you've liked you've commented and I'll announce the winners in my discord server if we can hit that 200 like mark and for more information on midshutters.com the links in the top of the description all important information is on the website so now I'll be getting started with what's involved so pretty much for both PC and Xbox, you need to be able to utilize the time travel glitch. So what that's comprised of is pretty much just going ahead and turning off your Wi-Fi, changing the date and time to when the Trino was out. So for the PC, the steps are pretty simple. Pretty much what you'd want to do is go ahead and close your Forza, turn off your Wi-Fi or disconnect from your Wi-Fi slash network, and now you'll be offline. From here, you can search up date and time settings. Once you're in here, you'll be able to go ahead and turn off set time automatically and manually change the date. Now, of course, the date that you guys will need to be able to utilize in order to unlock this car is going to be announced in the video. I'll talk about it right now. So pretty much, you want to go in and change that date and time back to the date of the February 9th, 2020. So if you guys go in and change it to February 9th, 2020 on PC, when you reload the app on offline mode, you'll now be in the Horizon Festival season for when the Truno is out. From here, it's simply an offline seasonal event. Now, right now, I'm not at that time period, but it's the exact same as this seasonal event I'm showing on screen, except for a different event. All you guys need to use to be able to get this is going to be a Toyota Supra for three offline races. Now the Toyota Supra can be bought on the auction or the auto show, sorry, for a pretty cheap price and pretty much the three events. Now it needs to be B class, which means it pretty much needs to be almost stock. So if yours isn't B class, either go buy a new one that's stock or detune it so you guys are able to enter the event. And from here, all you need to do is come first overall on average and you'll be able to get the car with the highly skilled driver tab minimum setting. So for Xbox, the steps are slightly different. Pretty much you want to go in and go into your time or close Forza, disconnect from the Wi-Fi and restart your Xbox. Once you've restarted it, you'll be able to go into settings, you'll be able to go time, and from there you'll be able to adjust the date and time accordingly, to which the date will be the 9th of February 2020. Once you've done that and you're still in offline mode, you want to launch up Forza and from then you can simply just go ahead and do the championship event and go ahead and unlock the Toyota Truno. It's pretty simple guys, all there really is to it is going ahead and turning your Xbox or PC offline, changing the date and time and going and doing the championship event. Now once you've gone in to unlock the car, you're probably thinking, well what do I do now? You pretty much just go ahead and close Forza, turn on your Wi-Fi again, turn your date and time back to the present date and time or set time automatically on and it'll automatically do that for you and you'll boot up, you'll now be in series 31 at the current date and time when you're playing, except now you'll have that Twitter Truno. So it's pretty simple to use, it's very effective, and people often ask me, can you get banned for this? It's technically possible, but if you're traveling back in time, it's not gonna happen. For the most part, the only time people ever get banned for time traveling is when they go ahead of time to series that aren't even un are released yet, or to be able to get unreleased cars. But this is simply traveling back in time to get a car that's been in the game for almost a year, so chances are you'll be completely safe, as of a lot of people while I've showed this glitch off many, many times in the past. So guys, it's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Like I said, Twitter likes, I'm going to go ahead and give away one of these in my Discord server. And by the way, if you're on Xbox and it says, or it doesn't allow you to be able to launch Forza while you're offline, or once you turn your Wi-Fi off, it means that you have not set your Xbox to console as your home device. So be sure you guys go ahead and do that. If you're unsure how to do it, it's pretty simple Google search, and it'll show you exactly what's involved. And yeah, guys, it's just a slight precaution there to make sure it works for as many as you as possible. 
but that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Hope you all did enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.